Right, it's uh, Joe Podding to turn to face the uh, Twitter questions or a Twitterati. Joe, start with uh, one from George Clements who says, what was your time like at Eastleigh and what made you make the move? Um, quite a nice one to start then, I guess, is it? Uh, my time at Eastleigh was good, actually. Yeah, I had a good time. Um, hadn't played a lot of football for the previous two years before it, so it was, you know, it was important for me that, that I just played, really, and, and it ended up think, playing about 100 times for Eastley and, and ended up um, obviously coming in. My my ambition was always to play as, as high as possible and it was a pleasure obviously to, to have the call when it came off the manager and, and to now be a part of what's going on here. Do you still look out for Eastley's results? Uh, now and again, it's, they get they play so many games so it's, uh, but I am still, you know, still aware of, of what's going down there and, and you know, they've had, they've, they've had a pretty decent start. Um, the chairman was, you know, was very, very good to me and Helping me to 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 come here, so um, still got a good relationship with him, and um, and yeah, it's, it's you know obviously I hope they do well. Moving on to James Ward, who says, um, "Who's the worst DJ in the team, and what songs do they play?" Um, well, there's only one DJ really on the match days, and that's Linesy, and the, the song's actually all right. So there's no real bad there's no real bad DJ. Um, not everybody gets a go. Well, Dom Telford, obviously, lines he didn't play on Tuesday night at, at Wickham. Um, so we gave Dom a go. Um, and he obviously ended up scoring two goals. But <laughs> a couple of his songs were um, not really in my choice of genre. So I'd have to say him. So, so could Lines he forge a, a career elsewhere in the music industry? Uh, yeah, I think he could do. And I think he's got friends that are, that are DJs and stuff. So if they teach him how to, um, how to do it properly, he might have, an, might have a career <laughs> after football in there. Right, we're going to stick with the music theme now because Robbie Noble says, um, "Do you know the words to Good Night Irene?" Yes. Yeah. Can the, you sing them? The main, the main bit. Yeah. Um, not going to sing it because I've <laughs> got a good singing voice, but um, just, just say the ones you know. Uh, well, I mean, it's quite repetitive, isn't it? But uh, no, it is. I'm not going to sing it, but it is, but it is uh, amazing when you hear the, sound, the fans sing that when <laughs> when you come out. <laughs> Not a bad answer. No. Uh, Michael Willett says, "What's the biggest difference between the setup at Rovers and your previous clubs?" Um, well, obviously it's a, a lot more professional here. Eastley, they, they tried to do it as professional as they can, but you know, with conference football, there's sort of a limit to, to what you can do. Um, my time before that, um, spent at Bournemouth, was um, started off. Um, I'd say sort of. It was it was difficult as a club. I had no money. There was embargoes. They the, didn't have a training ground and, and stuff like that. But by the time I'd left, um, you know, ev ev everything was amazing. And I'm, you know, I'm pretty sure I've been told now that it's even like much better than that. Since you know, since I've gone, so um, I've been, you know, quite lucky to to have been at to have been at good places in my career and with good people and with good facilities. So, and it's the I'm same good. here. You're, you're happy here. Yeah, I love it here. Yeah, um, Sophie Noble. She says, who is the most successful player you've ever played with? Um, my my best friend will probably have the ump with me if I don't say him. Um, he's, he's Steve Cook at Bournemouth. He's had a very good career. Um, plays obviously very high now. Um, played a lot of Premier League games. You doing thumbs up for a friend there, eh? Yeah, nice. Um, but I was lucky enough when I was very young, obviously at Bournemouth, to to have been involved in the same team as Darren Anderton at the same time as well. So, and he, you know, his unbelievable career. Mm. Um, was he very good with the young younger players? Uh, didn't really speak to him too much, to be honest. Probably too nervous at the time to to <laughs> want to go over and speak to him. But he was, um, you could, even though he was obviously finished his career by the time I was just starting mine, you could tell he was, you know, a pretty incredible footballer and done pretty incredible things. So. Moving back to the Rovers squad, uh, Lucas says, who is the funniest teammate in the squad? Uh, I can give that award to Ellis. I think he's <laughs> he's always on top form no matter what happens, no matter no matter what day it is, no matter what time of the day it is. He's, he's lively, isn't he? He's very lively, he always allowed us, to, always got something going on, always trying to trying to do something to someone or, or get reaction out of someone else or he's... Um, if for whatever reason the room's quiet, as soon as he walks in, you know that it's going to be a different sort of atmosphere. So, is it good to have um, that sort of character in the dressing room? Yeah, it's fantastic. There's quite a lot of the lads are like that, to be honest. Um, but Ellis really is—you know—he <laughs> he tops tops the table for that. 
Right, this is an interesting one from Ollie Luxton. If you could be managed by any manager, past or present, who would you choose? Um, <laughs> I think just for purely what he did, obviously, and how successful he was, then if uh, Alex Ferguson, if given the opportunity to do that, then I can't imagine many people would turn mm. that down, I suppose. So I'll, just, I'll go that one, nice you, and safe. Are you a Man U fan? Uh, no, I'm not a Man United fan. My dad is, but I'm, I'm not. What are you? Uh, well, I don't really support anybody now. It's you sort of get to that age where you, where you don't, we don't really do it. But um, I had a season ticket at Portsmouth as a kid, so uh, that was, actually well, uh, that leads us into the next question. Uh, Sorry, okay. I was just Alex Clement said, "What team do you or did you support?" You were yeah, support? when yeah when I was a kid, I, I went and watched Portsmouth. Um, lucky enough that I, I obviously played for them at the time as when I was young, so they gave you tickets and stuff, and, and we used to go me and my dad to, to all the games. Um, but obviously, as you grow up, you, you sort of grow out of supporting a team and, and focus on yourself and, and your own football. So, at the moment, I you know obviously say that I'm a Bristol Rovers supporter. <laughs> great answer. But are you looking forward to going back to uh, back yeah, to Park? Yeah, yeah, it's, it'd be great to go back there. I've played there a couple of times, um, and you know I've got loads of loads of family, loads of friends down there that are all very excited. I think it's a Tuesday night. Isn't it? We go down there, so that's the, you know it should be a really good occasion. And you don't think you do complimentary tickets, do you? Uh, well, <laughs> you have to no. cost you a fortune. Yeah, no. Well, uh, lo lo loads of people are, uh, are keen to go, but <laughs> I'm not going to pay for their tickets. <laughs> uh, Morick Dean says, "Who would you most like to play against? That's a player and a team. So to play any, against any particular, yeah, any particular player you'd like to come up against, any particular um, team. Well, I think just. Well, if I had to play against someone now, it'd be Messi. Obviously, he's, he's insane. I'm sure he'd make, make me look, you know, completely stupid. But um, well, what was the other bit? What, which team would you like to play against? Team, I'd like to play against. I'd like to say that I played against the the Barcelona team that won everything. Um, I think it was the team that beat Man United three one, maybe in a in a in a Wembley Champions League Cup final. Then they they were insane. So. To play, I think to, to play against them, I'd, I'd you know quite like to say that I've done that. Okay, I'm going to finish up with uh, Gary Morrox, um, who says red sauce, brown sauce, or no sauce at all on your sausage uh, sandwich or on your baking sandwich. No, red sauce. Red sauce, yeah. Red sauce. Can be should be blue sauce, really. Well, I know I shouldn't really be allowed to say red sauce, <laughs> but yeah, red sauce. Brilliant. Thank you.